Uh, John Kerry is, uh, I don't know, is he in trouble for this? <clears throat> Not yet. yet. First of all, people uh, are a bit confused by uh, John Kerry's uh, choice of words. Here's the clip. Quote, clarified it, but he didn't change his position. A spokesperson came out and tried to clarify it. So I think John is uh, trying to throw that big tar baby out there. You want to lose, you don't want to uh -huh. win. Of course Barack Obama uh -huh. wants to be successful. But you know what he wants? He wants us to really focus on the real war on terror, which is centered in Afghanistan and Pakistan. I don't, I... I, I, oh. I, <laughs> just a guy a little I, out of touch with certain pop I, culture slurs. I guess it's an old term. Yeah. I'm assuming. Oh my God. What is the What is the old meaning of that? It's from Greer Rabbit. <laughs> what? It's not what does it mean? It, it, a, may I, Patrice? Hell no. Not if you're going to make an excuse for Tar Baby. Do you know where it's from? Who Get over there, Stump Racism. It's here, some here, racism. Here, here. Get, get over there. So, yeah, right, get, here stop bring over there. Yeah, we all share a mic. Yeah. Tar Baby is from the story of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox. And Br'er Rabbit is trapped when Br'er Fox leaves a little baby fashioned out of tar by the side of the road. And when Br'er Fox stops, or Br'er Rabbit stops the to talk to Niggas from the story it, of Roots. <laughs> <laughs> the baby won't answer. So he punches it we and it gets stuck to We don't care what it's really from. Star baby what? is a racial slur, man. It's a no in the dictionary. If you, it's from the 1870s. Yes, we know it's a different time. We don't know. We don't. I don't. Hold care. on. I want to hear this. It's so, 1870s. Really, what a tar baby to a mean. problem that no matter how you try to solve it, it only gets worse. That's oh, because because the tar is going to get all over you, and he can't get it off. And he can't get it off. The more, more you try. The more you're just getting it on you. Right. And he's not using it to be. He's just out of touch with what it meant. All right. He's not using it to be. Right? Everybody knows that. It's like a boondoggle. He said yes, tar baby. You stop brain. Tar baby. Yes, we know. We, we, I, I appreciate the whole history of Br'er Rabbit. But you know what tar baby means. But why are you doing this? I don't. It's always meant to me a problem that no matter how hard you try and solve it, you're only just going to keep getting in deeper. Yeah, okay. Like I seem right. Sure, now. stump brain. Not that's me. that's what it means. No, I know that's the old meaning, but that that's not what you think well, when you hear the term. Meaning? Thank you. I'm it's not even a racial slur. Yes, that. thank you. It is extremely racist in in this day and age. But it's not even that bad. It's like it's like he, everybody knows he didn't mean it like that. It's like come on, he's a stupid old senator with a wife who does ketchup. Nobody thinks he does ketchup. <laughs> Done where's, quite well with ketchup. Hey, stop bringing. Where's Coon from? Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> hey, also it was also it was featured in the band movie Disney's Song of the South, of course. Oh, it was. That's yeah, they, where it became racist. Yeah, zippity doo dah. Yeah. <laughs> my oh my, what a wonderful day. Oh, it's ah, nice. Yes. Oh, that is fantastic. Let's go to Michael in Connecticut, who's oh, with baby. Stunt Brain. Michael, what's up? Hey, I'm with Stunt Brain on this. Just because a tar baby is black doesn't mean it's racist. An eight ball isn't racist any more than a tar baby is. They didn't have any white tar down there to make the friggin' thing out is of. Is that a, uh, a racist term? Hey, eight ball. No. No? <clears throat> Not if you if you call me one, yeah, but can we behind, get that going now? Eight, Maybe I can invent Behind one? the eight ball, be you, honored. Can, you know, I understand that. If somebody could make that, it be racist. But <laughs> it could be. Behind the eight ball, is, I wouldn't take that as being racist, but Tom, baby. <laughs> Tom, baby. All right, let's just listen to John Kerry again now that we know what he's using here. Quote, clarified it, but he didn't change his position. A spokesperson came out and tried to clarify it. So I think John is uh, trying to throw that big tar baby out there. You want to lose. You don't want to win. Of course, Barack Obama wants America to be successful. But you know what he wants? He wants us to really focus on the real war on terror, which is centered in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. No one heard a word he said after he said tar well, right, baby. Right after that, they missed it. He said because we don't want people to get spooked. You know, All right, he, right. Well, it's scared, of course. Yeah. And and in context, I'll I'll say this. Mm -hmm. it, it, <laughs> he he probably the way he didn't flinch. He probably didn't mean it. Well, of course not. But he didn't, he didn't, why would he say that? He didn't flinch. Of course not. But. Yeah, he has a big liberal. It's not like so. he said. It's not like he said. It's like he wants to throw that big tar baby. In there. Oh. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and I'm tired of hearing the cackles of the moon crickets. They bother me. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, moon crickets. Uh, they're loud. <laughs> they're loud. <laughs> oh god! Let's say I you know. And the porch.
He's a really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man! Uh, just, just a bizarre choice of words, right oh, there. Oh, bizarre! He could have used a million different words in that sentence. He lives in a different world. It's yeah. a different world. Where you just where you say where you don't understand Tar Baby, no one says it. Pe no, people in his life don't talk like that. What if he said, "I'm I'm headed down to the haberdasher to get me some cigarettes"? <laughs> you understand that they're old, they're old money, they're old political people. They're not fun. Fun people say Tar Baby. Your friends say that. <laughs> <laughs> These are old people. Who don't even know that they're in? Like, <laughs> I think, yeah. Emma. But I think old whitey is um, way race, more racist than uh, young white. Nah, they don't even know that they're racist at that age for certain. Like, he'll say something like, ah, those people have it bad enough. <laughs> well, well, he doesn't even go. know he is. All right, let's go to John in Cleveland. Good morning once again to Cleveland. How are you, John? Uh, Patrice, hey, Patrice. How many words are just absolutely atomic in your culture? Um, The N word is... Unless Jesse um, says it. The TB, now it's going to be called the TB. What is that? Tar Baby. Well, Tar Baby's really not atomic. Any, any, I, I don't know. Here's the thing that bugs me, though, about white people. It's like you join in with the race. Dude, you, you, you know, you sound like you're probably having trouble paying your bills. and I don't consider you <laughs> like somebody that can hurt me with any word. It's, it, it's somebody like John Kerry, you know, that's a whole other story, but... A lot of times, poor white people join into this. You people, we hurt you. Shut up. There's nothing you can hurt me with. You're just a dude. All right. Mm. With that, we take a break. Patrice O'Neill, everyone. Opie and Anthony. We got Patrice O'Neill in studio today. He was giving us good news about uh, Houston, Texas. Yeah, a lot of black listeners in Houston, man. I was out there. Everybody black come up. Say, O and A. O and A. O and A. I was like, oh, man. That's so very I didn't cool. realize this. I was like, I uh, thought it was all. Uh, Fat boys from uh, New Jersey, but there's a lot of lot of black, not even like weird uh, black people like you, that, you know, not black people, like black folks. You're talking black Just guys that act regular, white, but, right? Black weirdos. We got uh, a we got a few gangsters. You're talking few few legitimate um, um, African Americans. Nice. Those are not Houston black people. Though. Those are black people from all over the country who like the show that flew in to see you. Those are all of our black people. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big party in Houston. Yeah, they had a convention. I was very happy about that, man. I was, I was actually very Makes happy. Makes us happy. Yes, sir. Love. Hey, uh, what did you think of Jesse, by the way? Jesse Jackson? Yeah, I, with it, the cutting off of the, uh, he, the uh, you know, what's and the, uh, and he threw the N-word around. Dude, that's that's what everybody does. You talk about people. I mean, please. I'm, I know I've had to say things about Norton behind his back if they take me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. What you say said some about terrible me? things. I don't know. No. I'm not going to tell you. I don't say bad things about you. you uh, yes, you do. No, I don't. You say them in my face. Exactly. But, but I say it behind your back. But I say nice things about you behind your back. That Jesse does what people do. Everyone talks uh, mm. behind people's backs. The Every Norton single face. person alive. <laughs> I'm playing with you. You like to like think it. you're not the one they're, they're, uh, <laughs> they're talking all. about, but that's not, you know, we, we all do it. Yeah. We just all do it. And you don't, and it's not even a lack of love. I talk about my mama sometimes. Like, oh, my mother just, oh, why? Is she like, oh, I can't talk to her. But it's like, you know, he was just doing. I, I don't even think it was that bad. He was doing. As a matter of fact, it it might have been a friend. Like that's how you yeah. talk about your friends. Like he's so stupid. He's da da da. He might. It might be something he said to him. You know. In personal to him, like it's like it didn't bother me. That's why, yeah, why was it a minute though? If it was a white guy that said it. Yeah, why? Why did the outrage go away really quickly? Why was, wasn't he it was out just of like it was just like because uh, it was black guys saying about another black guy. So. Ah, that's mm. just not fair. But he's he has access to this guy and he's talking about nice. cutting his testicles off. Like it's like there's like a legitimate. You talk about cutting the testicles off of uh, the first black candidate in history. Isn't that like a secret? Story? I mean, it's like really. Why is that? Like nobody has any outrage. There's like nobody. Because nobody says a, retire or get out of the rainbow I think rainbow just coalition. like we're talking now, they people basically understand context. But look, w when white guys do something, you are the universal villains of the universe. They're gonna come after you. It's just it mm. is what it is. What do you want? It's your fault. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> Like, you, you, like when you do something, you got to come after you. It just is what it is. That's why you got to be careful. We've never had to be careful with language. But I think now um, people are trying to put black people into this language thing that we never was in. That's why. Then they should be putting <clears throat> that. Just don't call white people. Well, leave I don't the language we, alone I don't think, for everybody. I think that's reparations, basically. I think uh, we're not going to get money, so at least we should be able to say anything we want about you. Leave the language alone. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's petty. It looks silly. It, like, it looks. It looks second. It looks 
Like, I agree with you. Like it looks but it like, is what it is. Well, um, I mean, I'm actually I agree with Patrice now on this whole thing. Wow. Because I, I and it's not even uh, like agreeing as much as just you just got to take what what it is at face value. There is a double standard. Yes. It's just the way it is. Uh, if it's the worst thing we have to endure as whitey. Ah, so be it. That's fine. Yeah, that's but what we I'm make saying. our living talking, and it can it can, it can cost you a job. It's yeah. not just unpleasant. It's when when it, it's going to cost you a career or yeah. a job because you say the wrong well, thing. You got to watch a, out. A bunch of elitists in the ruling class throwing a little bone to who they deem to be the lower class. Yeah, we'll we'll do something about that. That's all that's, it is. But that's yeah. what before the, the 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 break that what he was saying when that guy was talking to me. That's the thing. <clears throat> White people are doing this to everybody. There's. Like, if a black person says white, the thing that bothers me sometimes is that, look, I'm not, we're not talking about just some, the dudes, the garbage men, the, the, the guy you bump to in, uh, into in the elevator. There's a, there's a white guy that we just named white that does bad things to everybody <laughs> and they're willing to take y white people's rights away just to get that overall big brother thing going. Mm -hmm. right. So that's, that's what it is. It's just like, nobody black is, is stopping language. But but when when uh you know no one black is ever like who run, I mean, Jesse Colin Sharpen. Powell's son ran the FCC but no. he didn't really he wasn't making the decision he was terrible he, he was really terrible. was small man mm -hmm. he was terrible yeah he was terrible I know he was terrible but I'm saying he wasn't making decisions I'm saying so uh, basically, it was the machine man above him. that's that's what y'all have to deal with like you said the that's Illuminati the worst you got to deal with. Is you can't say stuff nah. that you could say in the sixties? Shut up. That's great if I'm a garbage man, but the fact that I talk for a living and I talk on the radio and I'm gonna get dumped out of saying something, yeah. or that's where it gets frustrating. I don't I, I understand the overall picture. It, affect, it affects us differently because living, we can we lose affected. this. Yeah. Yeah. But that's and why they tell I me I can't say it in my car and <laughs> I got a problem because <laughs> Oof. Or on TV, I mean, when, you can't do certain jokes. That was the, that was my thing with I'm is the, the the stance I took is that as a as a as a black performer, I got I really have no language barriers. I can say yeah. pretty much what I want. Sure. And so for anybody black not to defend somebody who talks for a living when they eventually they will come after me and say I can't say what I feel like saying, sure. and I I don't even know how to not do that. You know, <laughs> I don't know how to not do it, so mm -hmm. I'll be in, I'll be in trouble. But as far as black people not fighting to, to repress language, Jackson Sharpton, the, uh, uh, somebody who actually works very high up at CBS, uh, that stupid Whoopi Goldberg, Al Roker, Snoop, they all went after him, all talked for a living, and they all wanted him removed for saying something they knew he said in yeah, humor. And none of them call out a guy like Jesse for saying something he means. Like, like, no one calls him at... Saying something under your breath is who you really are. Right. When you're caught on a microphone saying something, that's the way you feel. And it boils mm -hmm. down to double standard. I'll yeah. do it. I'll take it. I'll say it. It is what it is. But, we, you know, black people get to deal with double standard. We had to deal with double standard in terms of breathing. Like, like what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, true. It is what if it white is. white people can make us breathe different air, you would. It's like, <laughs> you can't say, shut up. I don't, shut your face. It is a double standard. It is, but I don't want to be affected by it because it can, it can cost me everything and that's, that's what makes me sick. I don't care about it as an overall thing. I don't want it to cost me my job. Yeah, let's go to Phil in New York. Phil? How's it going, O&A? Mm -hmm. Phil Connors? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Phil? Well, uh, it's just like, uh, take, take if you saw like John McCain at his home and you heard something like, oh, John McCain hates Americans. Like Jesse Jackson has a public image that he, that he's trying to portray. And he just went completely against it. Well, look at all, okay? dude. Look at all the look at all the crap. Dog the bounty hunter got for a private conversation. Look at Charlie Sheen had to come out and oh. dog the bounty hunter was fired for saying unpopular things on a phone message uh, with his son. And I, and I know that that was an angry thing. But privacy is not always kept private. It's 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 fraudulent. It's, it's more than just an inconvenient but you know, no, double no, standard. I'm, I'm going to give you something too that that white people don't have that black people do have. And again, this is I don't have an argument for why it's right or wrong. Black people have a black thing. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we hear like, it's we, huge. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you have a black thing, man. <laughs> it's like, it's just like that. Black people will listen to that and go, I get it. And white people will be too afraid to a, to attack it on a, on the level of what it is, where black people can go, ah, we do that. But white people don't have a thing that, ah, white people do. We just, but that's a human thing yeah. to talk it, trash it, about it, somebody it, behind it, their it, back. 
Yeah, it might be a human thing, but that doesn't mean it's right. And that's no, I didn't say it was right. right. But it's fine that he did it. I have no problem with Jesse Jackson saying that, and I really don't think he should have gotten in trouble for it. I just want him to shut his mouth when it comes to somebody else saying something. That's it. There you go. Don't ask him yeah, much. now, now he, Jimmy. he really right, doesn't have a leg to stand on. That's all I'm saying. But it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He didn't have a leg to stand on after Jaime Town. People let it go. He said it was taken out of context. Yeah, he, was, he said, I only meant Jews. People were like, oh, okay. <laughs>